Hello, this is Marion Davenport with the League of Women Voters of Portland, and you are watching our Video Voters Guide or listening to our podcast. We are here today to talk with candidates running in the November 8, 2022 general election. We are grateful for the support of the Carol and Velma Sailing Foundation, the League of Women Voters of Portland Education Fund, the Weiss Foundation, and our media partner, Metro East Community Media. With me is Dr. Twee Tran, running for Oregon State House of Representatives District 45, which covers the Northeast Portland neighborhoods of Beaumont Wilshire, Rose City Park, Roseway, Madison South, Park Rose, and Maywood Park. Welcome, Dr. Tran. My pleasure to be here today. Please tell us a little bit about yourself and why you are running for this position. Um, hello, everyone. My name again is Dr. Twee Tran, and I'm running for House District 45, the Oregon State Representative Office, because I wish to bring my lived experience, my long history of community involvement, and House District 45's diverse and economic intersectionality to Salem, where I hope to make a difference in everyday Oregonians' lives. Um, I was born in Vietnam and immigrated to the United States in, as a refugee in 1975 at the age of nine. And my parents and I live in low-income housing. I remember playing marbles in the dirt patches I, outside my apartment. I remember learning English and how difficult it is. Um, but because I was good in math, that gave me the confidence to stay in school. And... That, that path led me to the optometry program in Forest Grove, where I earned my doctorate degree, and that is where I fell in love with Oregon. It's people mostly, people that are compassionate, responsible, and impactful. And I have opened my eye clinic in the Northeast Hollywood district since 1995, where I raised my three kids who all went to public school and you're not gonna get rid of me. I'm gonna stay and be a contributing partner to all the, my constituents here in House District 45. My call to service stem from my involvement with my community. Since 1995, I've been a member of the Hollywood Portland Lions Club, whose motto is we serve. Uh, every year I turn my eye clinic into an eye care mission where we serve those that have fallen through our safety net and need desperately eye care services and cannot receive it otherwise. Um, this past year, I serve the friends of seasonal and service worker, those folks who pick our fruits and harvest our vegetable and whose lives have been so devastated by climate uh, changes and the pandemic. Uh, I was on the Park Road School District Board. I was a board member of Family Forward Action, where I fight, fought for paid family leave. And I'm on the board of the Metropolitan Public Defenders, who, uh, with whom I fight for much needed indigent defense. Hundreds of folks are incarcerated without representation. But most of all, I want to share with you that I am a lieutenant colonel in the Air National Guard. I've taken the oath to serve my country, give my life if necessary, and at the state level, I would do no less to fight for every Oregonian's life. Thank so, you. That's a little bit about me, Marion. Let's start with the questions. Do you support or oppose the gun safety measures measure 114 on the November ballot? And please explain your answer. Um, I support the gun safety measure, measure 114 on the ballot. As a military person, uh, I also have a membership to the Tri-County Gun Club. So I know how dangerous firearms can be. And firearms and the usage of it deserve respect as well as training. 
And so besides the items in measure 114, I would take it a little bit further to make sure that uh, it involves training regarding um, uh, items that is necessary for suicide prevention. Because as you know, the suicide rate in the military as well in Oregon are very high. I would take it a little bit further with regard to gun safety to support the victims of intimate partner violence. I would also take it a step further to enhance our reporting system so that uh, we can report social media conversation that involve uh, mass shooting manifesto and ideology using um, vehicles such as Safe Oregon, uh, which we already have to keep our kids safe. You are listening to the League of Women Voters Portland Video Voters Guide interview and podcast of Dr. Twee Tran, who is running for Oregon State House of Representatives, District 45. What more could Oregon do to help people move into safe and stable housing? We need to think of the process of safe and stable housing um, as a complex process with multiple steps. Not only do we have to take care of our houseless folks with shelter now, we must also think about transitional housing with supportive service like mental health support and addiction treatment. Once support is given and accepted, then we need to think about permanent housing, not, not just for low income, but we also need to think about folks with special needs, our veterans, our, um, our homeless folks, our folks with um, child support need or forced workforce training need. But most of all, our housing must include housing for family of working families. When I came to United States in 1975, my family lived in a two bedroom apartment for many years so that I could have a stable environment to go from, from third grade to 12th grade. But many of the housing that is being constructed right now, especially in my house district on Sandy Boulevard, our studio and one bedroom. We need housing for working family so that folks can establish roots and create a supportive community. Thank you, Dr. Tran. This concludes our Video Voters Guide and podcast interview of Dr. Tweet Tran, who is running for Oregon State House of Representatives, District 45. Election day is Tuesday, November 8th. Be sure to inform yourself about the candidates and exercise your right to vote. Thank you for joining us.